Paul Lazell. Paul, welcome to the podcast. Hey, Jay. Thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it. Absolutely. I'm excited to have you on here, Paul. And of course, we're going to be seeing each other again here pretty soon at one of our upcoming mastermind member uh, meetings. And today we want to hear all about what it's like to be a virtual wholesaler. What in the world does that mean? And what's that process look like? But before you get started on all that, tell us, how'd you get into real estate? It's an interesting story. So let's go back to the 1990s when I was in college. I was working for my uncle, who's a general contractor, and he bought a quad quadplex, a four unit building. We fixed it up, renovated it. He turned around, rented it out. He was making pretty good profits on this property too, and still had a lot of equity in it. So that kind of stoked my interest in real estate. And that point on, after he bought a few more and we renovated them and I was going through college, I decided this is something I got to get into. It's got to be my long-term goal. So I did. And basically in 2001, I started my first property. Unlike him, was a fix and flip. I got into that so I could build up some cash. Eventually did build up, get some rentals as well, but stuck with the wholesaling, the fix and flip game, owner finance game, and been doing that ever since. That's awesome. So... So were you doing fix and flips a while before you started doing wholesaling or were you doing wholesaling and fix and flips like simultaneously, like right out the gate? Well, I really started in the fix and flip game. And then when I had too many flip deals going on, I did a couple wholesale deals. And I started to realize kind of easy doing these wholesale deals. So after the crash of 2008, 2009, when all the market, you know, was just tanking, if you remember that well, I'm sure I decided, all right, let's go more to the wholesale game and turn them and burn them. And we did that. And we still did fix and flips. Don't get me wrong. We kept those good deals, did fix and flips on them, kept some good deals, did some rentals, some owner financing. But we um, ba basically became virtual wholesalers at that point. We started expanding. We started in Pennsylvania, where I was originally from. I just moved here to Florida this past month. But originally, I'm from about 45 minutes north of Philadelphia. And so I started in that market, expanded out, went to Pittsburgh, New Jersey, Delaware, Ohio, Indiana the Carolinas, which I love and where you're from, you know, and then I started going down to Florida, Texas, before you know it, I bought and sold in 44 to 50 states. Mm -hmm. 